It was stunning video posted on the internet for all to see, and it came with a charge that police masqueraded as protesters at this week's Montebello summit to incite violence. Tonight, an equally stunning admission from Quebec's provincial police. Susan Bonner reports. Busted. Three Quebec provincial police officers, identities masked, one carrying a huge rock, nabbed for infiltrating a peaceful protest at Montebello. The tip-off came from a union leader who noticed riot police standing by despite the obvious weapon. He accused the men of being undercover cops trying to provoke a riot and end the protest. The men were removed but never charged. After two days of questions, the Sûreté du Québec issued a news release late today confirming Yes, the men are police officers, but denying they were agents provocateurs, claiming they were sent in to identify and stop trouble. They say the police refused to throw stones, committed no crime, and were there to maintain order and security. There's a serious issue about pol proper police conduct here. Criminal lawyer Lawrence Greenspawn has defended protesters for decades. He says it's time for politicians to act. I think the people that represent us in the legislature should be looking at some form of legislation that says, wait a second, this is not a, a proper use of police resources and we should be setting guidelines. <laughs> Activists have argued for years that police try to thwart their legal right to protest by trying to incite aggression so they can move in and take protesters away. They say they do it even when demonstrators gather in a designated area, as these mostly unionists were in Montebello. And they say politicians tacitly endorse it. This is the face of it, where people can't even ask a question without trying without having to face these kinds of goons it's time that all of the secrecy and backroom deals end public safety minister stockwell day stressed the federal rcmp were not involved and there is a formal complaints process there is also one uh, for the sûreté du québec and this incident happened uh, in quebec so uh, i would imagine people could also uh, file under that complaints process also the Supreme Court has ruled protesters have the right to be seen and heard. Tonight, both the Quebec and federal governments are facing calls to do more to police the police. Susan Bonner, CBC News, Ottawa.